Hi, I'm Dave. In my last video I made a frame. In the course of making that frame I used a frame clamping jig that I made a number of years ago. I've since gotten a request in the comments to explain that jig, how it works, and how I made it. This is the jig. It's made out of strips of plywood and some hardware. It works with a regular clamp to clamp the frame pinching at the corners with these blocks. I'm going to make a new one, a larger one. This setup will do about 24 inches maximum. I want a larger one so I can do larger frames. Um, and I'm going to use that one to show you how I made it. First I glue up a blank for the corner blocks from two scraps of three quarter inch plywood. Next I cut one and a quarter inch wide strips. These are going to be the arms for the jig. Now I'm marking for the holes in the arms. The first hole is 14 inches away from the pivot hole. And then the rest are spaced at one and a half inch intervals. With a quarter inch drill bit, I drill a hole at every mark using a really basic fence to keep them all centered. Because the arms can be subjected to glue squeeze out, I finish them with a couple of coats of polyurethane. With the glue dried, I cut the stock for the corner blocks to size.
Now I use some adhesive back cork to pad the corner block faces. This is an old prop frame. I'm going to use it to demonstrate how I use the jig. First thing to do is to set the jig by moving the blocks to the appropriate hole so that the arms intersect the corner at a 45 degree angle, as close to a 45 as I can get. That way pressure is applied on both sides more or less equally. Once you've got the jig set to the right size, I generally glue the surfaces of the corners, blue tape it together to hold the frame together, and then put it into the jig. The last step is to check that the frame is square by measuring corner to corner. If the measurements don't match, that means it's out of square, but you can correct this using clamps. That's why there are flat spots on the back of the corner blocks. There's a few measurements I forgot to mention. On the corner block, the distance between the center of the block and the center of the pinhole is one inch. On the center bar of the jig, these holes are three inches apart. I've since made a third hole here, which is two inches from this one, meaning I can move this arm over and I get a lot more variation on the distances for the corner blocks. Um, basically the equivalent of cutting mo twice as many holes down here by only drilling one up here. I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.